friends it is friday i want to do a little weekend in the life but i honestly totally forgot i was filming this morning so it's already 4 p.m on friday but this morning we went to a woman's event for my church the message was um basically how this mom taught her kids to hear god's voice so it was really really good um, and then I just came home, put Legend down for his nap, and I got ready because we're actually doing a mom's photo shoot tonight. Um, a photographer who took photos of us two years ago, her name's Marina, she has really beautiful work. And she does these mom's photo shoots that are really cool and unique, and she wanted to put one on on Maui. So I kind of organized it and asked a lot of my friends if they'd want to do it. And we are shooting it tonight. So that's why I got all ready. I just did hot rollers in my hair, and they will fall out quite a bit before the shoot. And yeah, it's going to be all like neutrals and whites and everyone is going to bring their kids and have them in a similar color palette. So it should be really beautiful. Just praying the weather stays nice. It's pretty cloudy right now. So I'm hoping it doesn't rain. In the middle of the night last night, I came out here to try to find this. I couldn't find it last night because Kyle moved it, but my throat was so dry I couldn't sleep. I need to order a new filter for our air purifier. But anyways, this really helps. It is the Beekeeper's Natural Bee Propolis Immune Support. I talked about it in another video. We just restocked it. It's great if you start to feel a little bit sick or if you have a scratchy throat or a sore throat, if you've been looking for a good, like holistic, natural alternative for a throat spray, I've been trying to swap out as much as I can in my medicine cabinet for more natural products. I would definitely recommend this one. Um, I've tried another natural throat spray, but the taste of it is quite nasty. This one tastes really good because it's made from bee propolis. If you don't know what that is, it is the like waxy substance that bees use to protect their hives. So it's like packed with great things to support your immune system. Kyle used this last time. He had a cough that he couldn't kick and it helped like within a few days it was gone. They also have a kid's version. Legend is uh, too young for bee products right now. But if you have a kid, the taste of it is really good. It's a little bit sweet, like honey. So this might be something that you can actually get your kid to take. Um, I have a code with them. It is Cayenne20. I'll have a link to buy their products in the description. They're also available at Target. The photo shoot went amazing. 
Um, it was a bit windy and a tiny bit rainy when we got there, but we were all were praying and literally ended up being the most beautiful night um, and beautiful sunset. And it was so crazy because the sunset has, like the sun has been sitting on the west side of the mountain, but yesterday it's set on the east side of the mountain. It was so weird. Um, so I'm just taking it as God answering <laughs> our prayers. Um, today's Saturday. Usually we make plans on Saturday, but like we'll usually go to the farmer's market. But we have had a really busy week and we have a busy few days. We're leaving for a trip to Mexico on Wednesday. So we just kept our Saturday open. I think Kyle has some work to do for church, so we might have to drive down to town. So like maybe we'll just go to the beach or something. Um, but we recently did something that I need to show you guys. We got a playpen because this boy is a crawler. The mats just got in, so I'm going to set these up. We got it all set up. We really just needed a place where we could set him down for a little bit now that he's crawling that he would be safe because <laughs> we had him kind of crawling around the house and he was just getting hurt so much. And we also never used the dining table that was here. So I feel like once he outgrows the play area, we'll probably get like a smaller like round dining table and hopefully we'll actually use it more. just had breakfast it is almost noon actually it's just one of those days where we're still in the pajamas breakfast took you know three hours to make legends down for his first nap and I've just been scrolling trying to decompress but I'm off the couch I'm actually still hungry <laughs> Oh, uh, breastfeeding. I'm gonna make, my friend sent me like a recipe for the Haley Bieber, <laughs> Haley Bieber, the Haley Bieber, Ar, Ar, wait, what's the place called? What the, is the fancy group, Erewhon? I don't know. Her Erewhon smoothie. Um, and I've been making it like three times a week. It's super simple. Strawberries and cream. I don't do like the strawberry glaze, but it's probably not the most nutritious, but I feel like you could probably add maybe like spinach or some veggies that don't have like a taste to it. I think I need to get dressed and tend to my garden, so. That sound is so beautiful. Really? Yeah, and tend to my garden. Alright, I finally got dressed for the day. I'm gonna quickly tidy the kitchen and then I need to go water my garden. I am doing a whole series on starting my garden beds, but I'll take you out there for a little sneak peek. Let me know in the comments if you are a clean as you go person or if you're like me who literally leaves everything out on the counter. No sleep, my veins run dry, I'm empty I can't see, I'm 
because we have a church event tomorrow so he's kind of like prepping ahead so me and legend went down with him but he just dropped us off at the beach we had some good beach time so i'm in the ocean it was really nice and gave legend lots of stimulation he ended up passing out in the car but took a really short car nap because he never stays asleep once we park unfortunately maybe for like five or ten minutes but we are actually hosting some friends for dinner tonight. So we are cleaning off the porch and starting to prep some stuff. I'm making a chimichurri sauce. We're gonna do steak tacos. I've actually never made chimichurri, but it's so easy. I think I'm also gonna do a cilantro avocado lime sauce. And it's literally, you put in a blender, like garlic, avocado, lime, and cilantro, and maybe like some salt. So that's really easy as well. <laughs> good time we made steak tacos it was super delicious and oh oh my goodness I feel like a lot of people say like your dogs go out the window I know that's not the case for everyone but I would say it's been hard it's hard to be patient with handsome um, we still love him but I feel like when he is being like, I feel like he just has no regard for Legend's like space. <laughs> like just now he knocked him down when he was giving, I mean, he's trying to be sweet. He's giving him kisses, but like, dude, I don't know, kind of stresses me out. Anyways, on a different note, it is Sunday, it is Sunday morning. I feel like this has not been like the nice cinematic vlogs I've been doing lately, so I apologize for that. But Ooh, tummy growl. Um, I'm just doing my best out here. I desperately need caffeine. I did not have any yesterday, so I was gonna go out to a coffee shop. I'm like. No, let's just make something here. I have my Nespresso machine. I'm gonna just like get a shot of espresso and make a dirty chai latte. So I figured I'd show you how I make it. In my milk frother, I put your milk of choice. This mud water that's like chai flavored. I did a little bit of cacao powder. And today I also added a little, like a half a scoop of vanilla protein just because I started a um, program and, oh hello little guy. I started this uh, workout program with a coach and I have like a protein bowl every day. So just trying to fit in the extra protein where I can. I think I may add a 
a little bit of like homemade vanilla syrup as well and I'm just gonna froth that and then mix it with a shot of Nespresso Climb. All right, I'm getting ready to do a couple gardening projects, but I thought I would do a little Old Navy haul because we took family photos um, with the same photographer, Marina, um, on Thursday, and I needed to get an outfit for Kyle, um, and we don't have a lot of shopping on island, but we do have an Old Navy, and I literally never shop or think to shop at Old Navy, but it was like one of the easiest places to go in. So we went and surprisingly there was a ton of good stuff. We didn't end up, he didn't end up wearing any of this for the photo shoot, but I'm still glad I got it because um, it'll all be perfect for our trip to Mexico. Also got a few things for Legend, but I found these just like white, beachy shorts you like these um and these are like a seven inch inseam so i feel like that's like perfect they're like a little bit shorter than your traditional nine inch kind of gives more of like the beachy vacation look and then i found these trousers and they're just a pair of like white trousers or they're like kind of like a it's not like, I mean, on camera it looks stark white, but it's more of like a creamy white. So it doesn't look like too crazy. Kyle like would never wear white pants, but because they're like just like a little bit off white and it's more like a dress pant, I feel like this will look great on vacation. So with the white pants, I found this blue. It's like, it has these like, I don't know if this is knit details. Uh, they also had a really similar one to this in a tan color that he really liked but they weren't on sale and I feel like Old Navy always has sales so this is the only thing we bought that was not on sale and I think we'll go back for the other stuff when it goes on sale because Old Navy always be doing that like 50% off at some point. And then the last thing for Kyle were those same shorts but in this like linen um, blend. They actually had some really cute baby stuff that was all $8. So this guy, it's like this little gauzy, lightweight romper. It came in a couple other colors. I wish the other colors were better, <laughs> but they were like a dark navy, and I can't remember the other one, but we just went with a nice neutral. Then we got this one. Oh, I think this is the front. It has cute little buttons down the front. It's like more of like a soft knit cotton, but still lightweight enough for him to wear here. Then the last one was this guy. And he has like one other outfit that has like the tank with the pants and he wears it all the time. I didn't think I would like opt for this kind of style, but he wears it a lot. Just one thing I just realized is this is my battery died, but... All I was saying was, I just realized the bottom of this is all snap buttons, which is not ideal. But I guess you can just slip it on from the bottom and not even bother with the snaps if you don't want to. This one snaps too. They're all snaps. <laughs> That's fine. It's really fine. I feel like at this age, he's not... At this age, he's not really blowing out as much. So the snaps should be fine. Although he is like moving and grooving it's like getting so hard to change him um but anyways his nap is in about 30 ish minutes so i'm gonna run to our local hardware store and pick up some potting soil so i can do those garden projects while he naps um, you ready you want to go so much dog food so much dog hair Okay, back from the hardware.
hardware store. I wish I would have filmed this, but I did it on TikTok. I just showed you guys, I don't know if you remember how greasy my hair was earlier today, but I just used the Primality Pure Dry Shampoo. Uh, this one's the one for dark hair. And if you're looking for a natural shampoo, this one works really well, smells good. Um, if you guys want to see kind of like the before and after, I'll have a link to that TikTok in the video description. But thought I would mention that my code Kyan15 I think is still active with them. Not sponsored, but I just love their products and use them so often. But I was really excited because they had Dahlia tubers at the hardware store. So I picked up three of those. I'll insert the pictures of the ones that they had. And I'm waiting for my other Dahlia tubers to come in the mail. But since I got these three, I think I'm gonna get them in the garden bed before we leave on our trip. Legend is down for his nap, so I am going to get as much done as possible. Um, we didn't go to church this morning because there's like a church event after church. Sometimes when they're back to back things, I just have to choose one or the other to go to. So I decided to keep Legend home so he can have a good nap and then we will head out to do, it's like a beach grill out barbecue. So we're gonna go to that a little bit later and meet up with Kyle. Kyle's obviously working at church, so he had to leave quite early this morning. But yeah, that's my little plans for Sunday. Just got my first project done, which was setting up my self-watering tomato planter. We got our starter in there. It's looking quite sad because I didn't water it the last couple days, just so it would be dry for an easy transfer. So hopefully that perks back up. I just realized I have not eaten today, which I never do, because I'm always so hungry for breastfeeding. But I think because I think because I had the espresso this morning it like suppressed my appetite so now I am so hungry I just heated up some leftover pasta it's like a pesto and veggie pasta legend is still napping so I don't want to wake him up so I'm just gonna hang out until he wakes up on his own and then we will head down to the beach very curious how the weather is because this is the view outside right now. It's fully in the clouds. At least it'll be quite a bit warmer down there. Not sure if the weather's nice enough to actually swim, but I'll bring this stuff anyways. It's actually the same beach we went to yesterday, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna just eat my pasta and Go on TikTok and watch Coachella outfit reviews. <laughs> about 4 p.m. I just put Legend down for his second nap and yeah it was a really successful outing. Me and Legend were basically swimming most of the time. A few people got baptized. Handsome was in the water with us probably for like an hour and a half. He had so much fun just swimming and diving for rocks. I was a little bit nervous to bring him. I feel like it's hard <laughs> with a baby trying to decide if we should take him with, but he proved himself to be a very well-behaved boy, so I'm glad that I brought him with. Um, for the rest of the night, we are probably just going to relax, and Kyle gets really exhausted on Sundays, 
um, especially today because he had to go in early to church for training and then he has to like set up and break down the entire event so I'm sure his battery is about drained so when he gets home we will definitely just like chill put on something like a movie and sit our butts on the couch for the rest of the night um, but I think I'll end the vlog here because there's probably not much else to show. I hope you enjoyed spending a little weekend with us. And just a reminder, if you guys do want to try the Beekeeper's Natural Throat Spray, I will have the link in the description for that. But I love you guys and remember, Jesus loves you more.